11. So on the 11, on day 11, we started with our map click handler and we found the chords by event and we finalized the drop of the badger. I will just show you it. So this one was done on Monday. We can click and we have the drop. On Tuesday, we then <coughs> click to place the unit and drop the badger. We finalized it and we added some new units. Um, as you could see, we also have now a second unit which has the same effect and we can place them over there. On Wednesday, <coughs> We loaded the dynamic animations for the unit and we were able to switch it um, separately. So we have the different units as shown. You know, we have three units right there with all of each own uh, idle animation. Afterwards, we were able to select a unit. So we can do this. Can't toggle them anymore. So this is also a bug we need to reconsider. Okay. <laughs> but we can select a unit and on Wednesday, we wanted to start with the move implementation, but it took us a lot of time because of the pathfinding, uh, which was involved and uh, we needed to code a lot of stuff to make the pathfinding work. On Thursday, so day 14, we continued on the move and the pathfinding and <coughs> we were able to display this uh, green dots here where we can move. And today we actually are able to click on the fields and we can move there. So this is what we have done today. Um, we finish the move command, we click on a possible field, we move the unit. So the disable unit is not working for now, but we will have it in future. And yeah, let us just